This is an ocean tutorial and tour for all of my academically validated girls who want to achieve the world and stay on top of their shit. Hi, I'm Vika and I'm in the second year of university, currently on an exchange in France. If you were like me last year, your papers were chaos, you did your homework in the last minute, organization was flopping, but welcome. We are leveling ourselves up this year. Let's get those A's. So I have created this template for myself because I needed a hub, one place where I could keep all of my notes, my course information, where I could track everything, all of the dates, all of the assignments, all of the homework, basically just one universal university place, you know? Now I'm sharing it with you because it has been helping me over the past few weeks after university has started and I already have some really kind comments about it so let's get to it So we're starting out from the dashboard There are two aesthetics available One is light academia one, the one we're seeing right now and the dark academia I'm going with the light one because this was the one I created first and I started using it before I created the dark academia one so I was really lazy um, to transfer all of the data so now this is how the whole page looks like right at the top we have all of the pages that we will get back to in a moment uh, now this is the cloud with the quick buttons you click here and you'll get the to-do list for your study session you click here and you get a new note page we'll get back to it too now you click here and you get the pomodoro page where you can track your pomodoro sessions uh, in the callout below you can write down in the information that is too hard to remember but you need to have a quick access to you know like your student ID, your email, your password, stuff like that, that you cannot just save on your computer or stuff. I also put in a little Spotify playlist that I found on Spotify. It's not mine, I'm the first one I found just for inspiration, just for ideas for you. You can put in your playlist, just go to Spotify and copy the link to the playlist. Copy and paste that's all now let's get to the main page of the whole hub subjects this is the roots of the whole template this database is interconnected with all of the other pages in the template this is a place where you can track all of your courses i mean let's open a random subject and see the insides of the template so the category is the type of course it is a lecture or a seminar or something else. Here you can fill out the basic info about the course, the duration, the name of the professor, room, semester, and the weekday. Now, filling out the weekday is very important to create your schedule. But we'll see it in the moment. <laughs> These two last properties are other databases that are connected to the subjects. We'll get to them too. Here you can upload your syllabus or a subject overview. It will just show a complete page like that. Now, the pages that I've talked about before. Dates, important dates. Uh, so this is the database where you keep track of all of the important days of the semester or a year. You can write down the deadlines of different assignments, events, homeworks, exams, tests, whatever. You write down the name of it the type, deadline, and choose the subject that the lingo belongs to. Uh, when you create a new subject, it will appear here too from the list. You will be able to choose it. So there is no need to manually write each subject each time, really. The deadline information will appear in uh, two databases, in the subject one and the important dates one, which is also in the main dashboard. So you'll be able to see the exam or whatever date on the dashboard and also when you click on a specific subject. Next we have a notes database. It's rather simple. You just create a new page connected to a subject like we did before and just write down your notes. Really just easy. Uh, you can also connect it to a deadline from the database we've talked about before this. 
Uh, you could choose the topics of the notes if there are ones and a connection to a spaced repetition database. Now, this is my favorite. If I had to choose one study method and not use any others, I would go with the spaced repetition girl. So, to put it simply, this is when you review the learned material at systematic intervals. At the beginning, you review it more often, like one, two, three days after you learned it for the first time. As the time goes by, you space out the time between each next revision, getting to a few weeks. Uh, this is the table that will help you with checking your space repetition for each topic and subject. Basically, you write down the topic, the name of the topic, uh, the day you actively learned the material, choose the related notes from the database and the subject that the topic belongs to. Here you will see a date. Uh, this is the date when you will need to revise the material for the next time. When the date comes and you didn't forget to revise it, you click on this little box and you'll see the date for the next revision. And so on and so on. Next, we have a little simple table where you can store the information about the needed readings, books, materials for the class and so on. Now, this is my second favorite. I'm really proud of this page, even though it was so simple. Look at this. You just click here. Voila. You have a whole new template to prepare for an exam for a specific subject. So you fill out the info about the exam here and a table for the specific topics you need to revise how well you already know them and connect them to the existing notes that will also appear here. So for the template, you will receive a few subjects in there for an example. To create a new one from zero, you just have to click create a new page, choose the template here and voila, you have all the new databases already here. Now, a big tip here. These tables show all of the pages they have from different subjects. To filter them out, you just click on the filter in the top right corner, corner, add a filter and choose the database subject. Here you click on the subject you need and now you have all of the databases related only to that subject. So timetable. Now this is my favorite page ever on this template. This is really the... I, I've said it three times already, but this one is at the top, okay? It's just so neat and clean. It's not boring, but it'll, but it's also not bright. It's just, it's just enough, okay? I love these pastel car colors. I'm obsessed with them. So it is very easy to move the subject from one day to another. Now we'll go to the dashboard and we'll be reviewing all of the other pages that we have. Goals. This is a database where you can write down your academic goals and they will also appear on the subjects page. It's just a simple page where you can uh, write down the due date, the status, whether it's started or not, whether it is achieved. It's just a really cute page if you set academic goals, which you should. <laughs> I heard my knee. Essay builder. Essay builder. I also love this page, you know? I love buttons a lot. I just love Notion. Love Notion. Uh, you just click the button to create a new template for the essay. You put down the basic info, the title, due date, course, course, word count, maximum grade you can receive for it, and any other marks or notes. Then you mention the books, the readings, the materials that you will need for this essay. Then you write down the key points, key ideas that you would like to write about or you need to write about. On the opposite, you are writing down why it is important you are supporting the argument, okay? In the table below, you are writing down the key ideas that already came to your head and you have to organize them neatly, you know? You can also plan to write each part of the essay in the second part 
of the table where the date is written. This is how you plan your essays, basically, in this template. To-do list. It's also a very simple page, but it's so needed, really. Go choose the assignment that you have, that you already have. It could be some homework, readings to do, or stuff like that. You then create a to-do for this assignment. There could be multiple tasks for one assignment. Uh, you just write down the task itself uh, and put in the deadline. This database is also filtered. So the earliest tasks that you have to do, they will come on top. And uh, every time that you complete a task, you click on the box and it disappears. I mean, it doesn't completely disappear, it's just a filter. You can turn it off if you want to access your um, tasks that you have already checked off. You just click on this filter unchecked and press clear. Now, study tracker. This is uh, not really necessary page um just for fun you know when you want to track all of your study sessions when you study a lot and you need to keep track of your sessions so you choose the subject you write down the basic topics that you studied reviewed next you write down the date of the study session you can also connect your notes describe what you studied in a simple sentence and uh, write the study session. It's just a good thing to keep reminding yourself how much you have studied and why you should keep going. Now, exam preparation. Um, we already had this button on each subject page where you can just click a button to create a new exam. But this page is specifically for all of the exams that you will have. Um, here, this table below shows the general info about the future exams um, and it is also synchronized with the subjects and the notes. Like, I, I, like I've told you in the beginning, everything is connected to subjects. You just write down the name of the exam, the due date, not really due date, but just the date, uh, the subject, type. This is the database from the important days, dates that we have already viewed and uh, this page has just a filter to filter out exams. I didn't create a new database for the exams because I thought that it's just so inconvenient to have many many databases with all different stuff and uh, this one database has everything in it just perfectly whatever I wanted. You can just filter by the type of the assignment. For example, this one is the exam type. So you can see all of your exams. Now, coming back, um, you can connect your notes once again. Status, have you started studying for it? No, not yet. Have you done the exam or not? Then you can also connect your to-do list, your tasks, your little tasks that you will be creating. And the next thing is a great uh, I mean, each one of us has different grade systems. So I put in the grades that I receive in my home university, A, B, C, D. You can just delete these options and uh, create your own. Now, the last page, information and links. This is basically where you can keep all of your university information, like password, ID number, email address, stuff that you need to remember to sign in to your accounts and stuff, you know. Let's get through the template once again. Uh, you have your schedule, you have your calendar. Calendar is also the important dates database. Everything Every deadline that you put in that database appears here, if it has a date, of course. So you can see all of your tasks, all of your assignments, exams, events, whatever is related to university, homework, you know. It's, you can all see it in a calendar. This is what I love about Notion. You can just put all of your stuff in one place. You can see it all. And if you don't need to see it all, you can filter 
you can filter it out and you can see whatever you want to see, you know? And the preview view for the subjects. I'll show you the dark academia. Academia, dark aesthetic, dark academia one. Because it's too pretty, it's like, you see, I have no words. Why did I start with the light one? <laughs> I want this one now, but I'm too lazy to, tra to transfer all of my data, even though I don't really have much, you know, because the university has only started. Thank you for watching. So get the one you like and tell me about your experience with the template. I'm really eager to learn. And also, if you have any other ideas, suggestions, questions, anything to say, write down in the comments, I will read them. I really do need help with uh, perfecting all of my Notion templates, so I will greatly appreciate your feedback. I hope you like this video. I plan on creating more Notion templates. I already have quite a few on my Ko-Fi page and also my Etsy, but I recommend Ko-Fi because they don't really eat you up on fees as Etsy does. So yeah, can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!